Oh, what's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Hydrant here. So last episode, we went, we checked out some things, we got some more automation going, and we're trying to make money so we can continue on. Now, um, there was some comments that I might have missed something up in here, and I wanted to check this out before we get started on anything else because this maybe could possibly might not have a chance to possibly could dictate what we do in the game. So, <laughs> um, okay, I want to go ahead and I want to hop down here. And somebody told me that if I I needed to go to the uh, I need to go to the other side because we went um, we went one way but we didn't go the other way. But isn't there there's it's all blocked off there. Oh my gosh! You know what I think they meant? I think we can mine down there. I think we go. There's a hole right there. Hold on a second. Can we mine down there? Oh, no way. That would be super cool. We would never have to worry about daytime again because there's always lava and amazing light. Okay, hold on a second. Tools and equipment. <gasps> Was this? This must have been the area that they were talking about. Okay, all right. This is the area that I did not explore. Does this go down to the ground level? Oh my gosh. <gasps> For sale. So what am I buying here? For sale. Am I buying Okay, so there's a water source here. Am I buying the ability to mine all of this or am I buying the ability just to mine this little area and this little area right here? Wagon Materials, where does that come from? So that goes up to the truck. So that must go up there. But the tube goes off that way. <gasps> oh! Don't fall in the lava. Okay, I'm I'm curious though. So we have another tube going that way. Is there anything over here? Not really. But we can go down and this area is super cool. Like, don't get me wrong. This area is super cool. Um, I feel like it'd be really hard to like get some mining stuff done in here, but I like this. I like this area right here. This is cool because you could essentially use this area just to get the, um, like this would be your mine just to get the resources you need to build your machines. And then you could just take it from here and, uh, and then, uh, take it up to get, so this like loads your cart with stuff. So you put your cart there and it drops that out. Oh, that's a separate pipe. And then this takes the stuff up to your truck. So I'm curious on what area you can build in right here, you know? Hmm. Cause this is super cool. Wait, can we try Can we ride this? No, darn. <laughs> that would've been fun. But I mean, there's a water spot right here. So that makes me think that like this area right in here, maybe. I don't know. We might have to set up a. We might have to set up like a little contraption here, like a machine, you know, and uh, to go through and make all the uh, all of the the different resources and stuff like that. So if we need resources to build anything, we can just pull it from there. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But let's go ahead. Let's head back and uh, let's get some more mining done. Let's get some money made so we can figure out what we're gonna buy. We're gonna start off with buying the uh, the red and black truck for sure, and then from there. We'll actually start doing things that are, you know, make sense. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you leave a like. If you do here, maybe consider subscribing as well for some more. I do appreciate it. But, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get rocking and rolling, shall we? All right, so we're back in the mine. Apparently, I have a filter that's broken. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. Uh, this is doing its thing. I bet you that thing is completely full. So, let's actually go ahead and turn this off. <laughs> because we left that running for I don't even know how long. Um... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of crystals in here. There's a lot of things. Okay, cool. We're not even going to try to sort it. I'm just going to go and sell it all. <laughs> We're going to sell it all. Then we'll throw the uh, the magical crystals into one of the containers and then hopefully make some cash holes off of this. So we want to buy the truck. We want to buy another area. There's only 1827 in there. That's crazy. Can we just toss this right in there with that? Perfect. Looks good. Um, I think that might actually be 
I think that might actually be my second load of stuff. Because do we have a bunch of coins in here? Yes. Okay, cool. So actually, that right there is enough to buy that truck. But we could combine it with 1334. And now we have 3161. Heck yeah. Okay, let's get our mine fired back up. Let's get this going. Oh, I'm so excited about this because I want to try crafting those things. I want to get building some stuff. Um, I think this update is phenomenal. I think this is the, uh, a great update, and I'm glad they went in the direction that they did with it. Um, I know some people aren't as thrilled, but I think it's I think it's really cool that we have a purpose now to like you know make stuff out of the stuff that we're mining. So I think that's exciting. Um, okay, so we're gonna let this run for a little bit longer. I'm gonna try to get us some more money, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna formulate an evil plan. <laughs> All right, you know what? While we're waiting to make money, we're going to go buy that new truck. We've got to get it. We have to. Like, there, it just screams our name. We have to have it. Can't be seen driving around a the standard green truck. Oh, no. We need a red one with black. Stripes. Racing stripes. Speed. I actually have no idea if it's any faster or not. It's probably not. Uh, but I we, we need it anyways. We've got to have it. All right, let's hop out of here. Let's grab our coins. And let's get ourselves a brand new truck. Oh, it's going to be so good. We did it. It's ours. Drop that in there. Let me go grab my bucket real quick. And does it come with a full tank of water? I hope so. All right, there we go. Oh, it does come with a full tank of water. It seems faster. It definitely seems faster. I mean, I could be, I could, no, it definitely, it's definitely, it, I think it's faster. Um, yeah, I feel like it's faster. <laughs> and I love it. Okay. So now that we have this, now we can focus on other things. So I'm thinking that what I want to do is I think I want to buy that area that's underneath of the forging area. So that way we can start utilizing that area to uh, to make all the machines and stuff like that that we're going to need. And once that area is like fully up and running, then we can use the then we can use those we can take those machines and go put them on a different piece of land and then like start making our like mega factory kind of thing. So I think that's what I want to do. I'm just going to leave my coins in here so I don't lose them. Oh, look at the beautiful truck. Oh, it's so good. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Uh, and then also another thing I noticed, I mean, we've got a lot of area here to build with, like, honestly, because we have this whole area over here. Um, but another thing I noticed that uh, was a little bit different is when these filters break, it actually stops the machines from working. Whereas before, like, if your filter broke, it would still work. It would just be less filtered water. So I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. I'm not actually sure. So I'm kind of curious about that, because, like, when one of these filters breaks this whole thing stops which i mean kind of stinks like i kind of wish like you know if a filter broke it would just keep going and just be like you know less percentage of filtered water but i don't know so here's my example this guy that one broke but there's nothing going through now so kind of curious about that i don't know if that's supposed to do that or if it's a bug or what's going on well now this one's broke too yeah i don't know so I've been sitting here, I'm watching this machine go, watching the things happen, and kind of contemplating what we want to do here. Now, I wanted to, what I was talking about, I was like, we were going to buy the new, that new area, and then set up a shop down there so we can start making things. But I think what we need, what we probably should do, and probably would be a better option, is if we just set up a little bit more automation here, maybe got some auto sorters going off of this, uh, sorting all the resources, and then bringing just the bars that we need for the for in the meantime over to make the machines that we want and then bring them back. Uh, because I need to still be able to make money and in order to buy like, you know, the um, like the blueprints or whatever in order to make the machines. So we are still gonna have to make money and we already are set up here. So I'm thinking maybe we should just go ahead, set up a belt, get some automation going. Um, you know, auto sorting and things like that. And then auto smelting. And that would probably set us up better. And then we could leave this one here. 
So we'd always have this little mine and then we could always start setting up there. I think that's probably going to be what we do instead. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm trying to think we have, I think I have like 2000 right now. I had to buy some more spanner wrenches. Um, how much money do we actually have? We have 2910 plus whatever's in this thing. We might be able to go ahead and start setting up some stuff. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and let's turn this off. Um, actually, I'm going to turn that off. But then I'm actually going to grab this one, set it down. We'll grab this one, throw it in here. We'll turn it back on. Because we might as well let it uh, let it be running. Do that. Grab this. I know this is going to be the next one that breaks, and then that one. So hopefully those two will run for a while. Let's go sell this. And then we'll take our money over, and we'll, we'll, uh, we're will we going to grab some... I want to grab some belts. And then I want to grab some splitters, and then I want to grab some smelters. So that way we can start getting some things automated. And then we need to, uh, and then we can start making, you know, we'll start making bars. We'll probably also start making some jewelry. There's only 593 in there. That is not that much. Um, and go that route. Because if I bring everything over to the other place, then I'm just going to have to be basically setting up the exact same process that I have right now. Selling it until we can afford to get you know, those blueprints and things like that. So I think this is probably, probably the better option here. Okay. So we have 3,400. Let's go see what we can buy with 3,400. We should be able to buy a decent amount of stuff. And conveyor nation. So let's get some pricing on here. Okay. So we're going to need a vertical. We're going to need, Ooh, a gem polisher. That would be nice. Bottom drip shredder, forged iron. Okay, we're probably gonna stick with forged iron stuff. Splitter conveyor. That is our new splitter. So we're gonna need, oh man, four of those alone is two grand. And that would get us our gold, our iron, our cloudium, and then gems. Actually, wait, I'd probably only need three right away. Um, and then some of those, wow, this is going to be expensive to start with. I also wanted to see how much a Claudium, uh, intake pipe was because that's going to give us 250% pressure. So that would give the machines operating a little bit faster. And then we also need, oh my gosh, these are 1320 a piece. <gasps> those are expensive. Holy moly. What are the funnels? Okay. All right. You know what? We just got to start with it. We'll just start with it. We'll start building it. Uh, and then maybe we'll just, we'll start building it up and then we'll just won't have everything going right away. Okay. So, um, I probably, do I need a vertical conveyor? Can we make this work without a vertical conveyor? Probably not because the other conveyor has to sit like below the ground. So the other ones can sit above the ground. So we're going to need a vertical conveyor for sure. We're going to need a straight conveyor. So that way the straight conveyor is going to connect to this one and then that's going to go take it up and then we're going to need uh do we want a straight conveyor or do we want to start getting into the sorters right away because we're going to need three of these one two and then this one how much are we at right now we're at 2139 i think we'll be okay So let's go ahead and purchase these and let's go ahead and throw these into our truck. Okay. So we've got those now. I would love to get the gem polisher because if we just set that on the belt, looks on the conveyor belts, polishes gems that pass through like that. I mean, I feel like that would be, we have to get another straight conveyor and then we could get that. That's 600 though. Do we need to polish our gems yet? We probably don't. Okay. So we'll be fine for now. So that will get us that now in order to get things sorted, we already have the sorting stuff. We can't, we can't afford the smelters right now, but we could, we could afford to throw buckets underneath, but in order to do that, we are going to need, Oh, we're probably going to need another vertical conveyor. We're gonna need funnels. So we're gonna need at least, we're probably gonna need four funnels. 
Now, eventually, I'd also like to sort sort all the gems individually as well. But that's not going to happen for now. Um, okay, so there's that. And then those are going to go above buckets. We're going to run buckets underneath of those. I'd love to just... I, I would love to put the smelters right under these, under these right away, but that's just not going to happen. How much is the magnet on the stick? 428. Ugh. Okay, let's buy this and see what we have left. 870. So let's go ahead and let's grab another vertical conveyor because I think we are going to have to go up one more if we want to be able to have the uh, the funnels and stuff like that working as we want to. So we'll grab that right now. Purchase that. We've got 547 left. Okay. So now for that, we're going to save that because we're going to need um, we're going to need pipes to run like everything. So we'll go ahead and take that with us and then we'll probably have to come back for something that I forgot, which is okay because <laughs> it's just how it works. And home sweet home. Is this still going? No. What broke? Oh, no. It's still going. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's start getting things figured out here. So we're going to be basically bringing this up this way. And then eventually we are going to have to have more miners and stuff like that going into here. Uh, but that's... Okay. We'll get that figured out. Let's go ahead and let's turn this off. Uh, we need to get this sold because it's going to cause some lag. <laughs> oh, yeah just a little laggy okay so this is all shut down let's go ahead and let's start moving some things in here uh funnels i don't need those right away i do need this so this is gonna go why won't that go there huh? hooks onto pipes oh those hook on the pipes? Oh! That is... Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Okay, so no longer do we have to worry about where the pipes go on the conveyor belts. They just hook onto the pipe, period. No way. That is so nice hooks on the pipes because then you don't have to worry about the 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 corks oh that is so oh i love that i love that so much um the only problem is that i gotta get a pipe hooked up uh and going through so basically i need a pipe going around this way and then up and down that way okay so we're gonna have to buy we're gonna have to go get some pipes here um let's go grab I have 753 here. We should be able to buy a decent amount of pipes like with this. Okay, so we got to redo some pipes here. So let's go ahead and let's redo this. Wait, no. There, okay. Let's go ahead and take these off of here. We're going to need a T-fitting. Actually, I kind of need a T-fitting down below. Let's see. Let's grab this one. Can we make this work? Um, I'm probably going to have to have it like that. And then like this. And then like that. And then we're going to have to go down, down, curve, curve, curve. Wow, I need one, two, three, four. I need four more curved pipes. Okay, so I got the pipe hooked up. One there, one there. So we need another curve going this way. Uh, we're going to need a curve right here. And then another curve. And then another curve. And then straights. So we need one, two, three more curved pipes. And then some straight pipes. So I got my pipes laid out. Let's go ahead and see if this works now. So I need a straight conveyor. Right there. And then I need this conveyor. Uh... Oh, shoot. I actually need it down one. Huh? Um, You know what? Let's go ahead and let's try this. If I put this directly right here. I'm stuck. What are the odds that that would actually work? Yeah, it's going to be like that. So like this, like that, and then did we have another vertical? I think we did. 
Oh, darn it. I'm going to need another two more curved pipes. <laughs> darn it. <laughs> I thought that was good. Okay, so now we should be able to throw on... Pretty sure all I have left are the sorters. Okay, so like that, and then we're going to do back-to-back -back sorters. That should work. And then we'll go ahead and throw funnels on these. Now, ideally, I would have the smelters right underneath of these. So like that, that should work. And then what I need to do is I need to go on top of each of those and throw on the items that we want smelted. So like gold is gonna be on one of them. Um, yeah. And then gems are probably gonna fall off right here, which, oh, did I not grab a fourth funnel? Oh, I did grab a fourth funnel, okay, cool. So I actually need this to go right here. So we'll throw gems on that one. And then I need a cork. And I think everything's good. Grab this cork here. We don't have those smelters here, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, so that's corked up. Um, and then luckily we do actually have this. So I should be able to go ahead and drop that there. So that's going to make gold go out of the first one. Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about the crystals. So gold, iron. If we get cloudium. Because we also have cloudium and then we also have crystals. And then we also have gems. So I almost need one more of these sorters. Well, you know what? We can get... We can just do... Um... Yeah... Because we're not getting Cloudium that much. Oh, darn it. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> darn it. Okay, so we're going to try to set these buckets up right here. Like that. And then... I should have another one somewhere. Do I not have another... Pail somewhere? Where's my other pail? Oh, it's over here. And I guess I'll go ahead and throw a crystal onto this one, maybe. If I can get up there. So we'll throw that one on there. And then once we get iron, we'll throw iron on here. That's just sort it that way. I should be able to actually go ahead and just dump those on there. And then we'll set that right there like that and hope for the best. Okay. So there's all those. Oh, we need another bucket for gems. Okay, let's go grab that bucket. Need one of these. How much money do we have left? 444. So we'll set that one there. And that should be everything. Everything should be set up except for like once we get the iron. Um, that looks like it should hit that. I don't think there's anything else we're going to buy over here right now. I think we should be good. All right, let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. See if we can't get some some magic automation stuff going. I'm going to back this truck up out of here. All right, so there's that. Oh, this is not even remotely close. Oh, see, that's the problem. I can't go with the shadow because the shadow isn't going to be right. That looks good. These all look like they're back too far. Okay, those look like they should work. This is why I want to get smelters in here, so that way they just like hook to the grid and we don't even have to worry about it. Let's turn it on and see what happens. All right, so there goes those. Is that Cloudium right there? Wait, why did crystals get put in there? What? Oh, if there's no, if there's nothing on it, it doesn't sort it. Okay. That's good to know. All 
All right, so let's put this on there. So that should go onto there. Okay, so now it's working. Perfect. Okay, good. So we got some automation going here. Now, the reason for this is um, I don't really need it right now. We're going to basically just keep selling everything anyways for money. But in the future, when we need to start making machines, we can start doing this. So um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to let this run. Let it do its thing. Uh, we could also upgrade that piece. That would give us more pressure, which would then speed up everything in here. Um, and then, well, I guess maybe maybe the machines can't run over 100% anyway. So I have no idea, to be completely honest. Yeah, that was cloudy right there. That's funny. Um, but yes, yeah, so we need to get money so that way we can get the smelters in here. We also need to get some more sorters because we need to sort for cloudium as well as those crystals. Yeah, so we need to sort for cloudium and then the gems. Those are probably just going to go into a bucket for now. I'd like to get a gem polisher and then I'd love to sort for all the gems as well. Um, but we got to get the money first. We don't have the money for that. Uh, and then once we get those built and once we get all of that automation stuff set up, then we'll start getting to the point where we start making more machines and then we get more things going into this guy. So we'll probably go ahead and set up a conveyor line like right here and then set up a line of these machines like right here or something like that so they can go all into here. Uh, but that is going to be the plan. So yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. I want to let this run for a little bit. I want to make sure everything's looking good. It is looking good. It feels like it's looking good anyways. And I like seeing everything sorted. That's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. It's so wonderful. Now, I mean, we could get into we could get into making like the rings and the gems and stuff like that, like. But I don't know, it's easier just to sell the stuff that we have right now, <laughs> just as it is. Everything looks like it's running perfect. So, um, yeah, there we go. That's going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did like subscribe, all the fun things next episode, like I said, uh, hopefully you get some money, get some smelters maybe going in here and then uh, once we get smelters going, then we'll start getting bars. And then we can start maybe start crafting some things. I'd like, like I said, I'd like to get more of these guys to kind of speed up this whole process. That would just basically speed up everything for us, speed up making money and getting the ores that we need to make more machines and things like that. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we'll probably end up just using tier one stuff here. So we'll probably use these kind of ram drills or whatever here. And then once we have a, a decent like, you know, inflow of of resources then we'll start getting our tier two stuff and we'll start building tier two stuff at a different location and i'll probably go ahead and build those underground as well so we'll probably go ahead dig out underground make out dig out a huge section so that way we can get the uh, the better pay dirt underneath because i know a lot of people are like oh the the pay dirt underneath is way better yes uh, i am aware of that and i think we'll set that up on the next site so yeah pretty exciting stuff you know what i just realized was was there no excavator anymore that dug the dirt i don't think there was an excavator i don't remember seeing one maybe there was and i just wasn't paying attention i don't think there was an excavator oh that's kind of unfortunate i, mean, I like the excavator well anyways we will um we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but yeah thanks again for coming out hope you guys enjoyed this is hydroneer link down below if you want to check it out and i'll see you in the next one bye everybody